clear the line. 429, roger. Gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to DP World Jebel Ali, one of the largest ports in the world and the largest port in the UAE. We're standing here on Terminal 3, where over 3,000 containers are loaded and unloaded every day. Our crane operators need to have a steady hand, be a perfect judge of distance, and be able to operate in all sorts of weather conditions. I guess just like you guys do. And that's your challenge today. You're gonna let us loose on one of those? Not on one of those cranes, in here. Come on inside, follow me. The challenge is discharge as many containers as you can. You've got five minutes each. Mr. Willett, you're up first. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, this is very weird when you get in here. It's not like being on a computer, by the way. Left a bit. Right a bit, up a bit, down the other way. Someone's making him a hand. Well, you need him too, so will I. <laughs> By the way, the loser's walking home. Right, well, it's a good job I've got my trainers on. I get a little bit overexcited and I think I was a bit too quick and then it starts swinging and then it's hard to get the balance. And he's down. Boom! <laughs> you can come out now, your target's achieved. That's it, I've done one. That's me, happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously good with, with Pulse and Anibon there, a bit of banter and obviously trying to beat each other, nobody wants to walk home. Funnily enough, they've shipped all your Ferraris over, it's in this next container. Handle it with care, please. DP will. I'll take me job next week. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Well done, mate. Three containers perfectly in the line. <laughs> next up, Mr. Ian Poulter. Your time starts now. Speedy Gonzalez here out the block back. This one's full of all your new IKEA furniture, Dan. There you go. Ooh! Oh. Oh. Sway on. Nicely done. Hey, sir. Danny was talking a lot, but I, once I got in there, I mean, I was just literally focused on trying to get as many containers as I possibly could. There's a desert storm blowing in for you, Ian. <laughs> you can't do that to me. <laughs> Oh, that's not, oh, that's not fair. I put the third container down and they thought they'd have a bit of a laugh with me, obviously, uh, throwing some wind and some action in there, yeah, which wasn't easy. <laughs> oh, it's all gone dark. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very nice, are they? I don't like the fact that if this goes in, I could be walking home. Have that, boys. <laughs> Good effort. <laughs> now the scores are four to three and we're on to Mr. Lahiri. Under three, and you're walking home. You can settle down with that speed, by the way. We're going to put a shamal in on you any minute. I think once you get in there, you know, it's like a little cockpit in there, and it's in your own world. You can really zone in. <laughs> I just need to land these properly. <laughs> <laughs> this makes mine look so bad. I was just hoping to tire Danny with three, honestly, and not have to walk back home. Danny right. Bun, yeah. Danny's already started walking home. <laughs> Might as well bang some wind on when he's trying to land this one. Come on, just a little bit. Yeah, go and have it no time. Oh, uh, uh, come on. <laughs> he got another one. Yes! <laughs> you know, it's out there. Uh, it's amazing. Boom! Five. Oh, Game over. Oh, yes! That was, in all seriousness, a pretty impressive performance from you all. But as always, there's got to be a winner and a loser. DP World Crane Operator of the Day, Mr. Arnie Bond Lahiri. Thank you. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Danny, sunset in about 45 minutes, mate, so Hope better get walking. Come on. I'm off skis. You, you boys enjoy your helicopter ride. Enjoy it. Thanks, I'll give everyone. You a wave on the way.